Hey friends, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club, here with day two of Grace and Gratitude. Uh, today, uh, with day two, it's about his perfect gifts. And one of the main gifts, or I guess verses that are part of this um, when reflecting on our gifts is whatever is good and perfect comes to us from God, the creator of all light. And that's in James 1.17. And um, there are several other really good verses on this particular day, um, as well as a really um, beautiful prayer about um, asking God not to let us go a day without um, recognizing the gifts that are from him. So for today, I am really going to lean into my uh, glitter and shimmer watercolor set. This is the Arteza metallic watercolor set. And I know this is like not a professional grade. Um, I'm still very much a just artistic player when it comes to watercolor. I am not a um, watercolor artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I've really had fun utilizing watercolors in my Bible art journaling because it really lends itself to um, just be a very fluid, beautiful, shimmery mixed media that complements really well with distress oxide inks and stamping and scrapbooking. So I've really enjoyed playing with a few different sets. So I'm using the different color shimmers to really highlight these Bible verses on day two and um, just really adding different themed colors that are already there. So the one thing that's really great about this particular journal is that there are um, colors and themes and even a very small dot grid on that journaling page, that second page of each day. So it really is fun to be able to kind of coordinate the art that I'm doing with the art that is already there, but you can definitely utilize this um, 100 days just even as a journal to write down your thoughts or the things that you are grateful for. It doesn't necessarily have to be scrapbooking and mixed media. Um, I'm using stickers on different days, but today what I wanted to do was create a little um, mini photo collage. So what I'm doing is opening an app on my phone called Fun. I've been using this app for I can't even tell you how many years um, there's probably a thousand other ways that I could be doing this but I have become very familiar with this and it's just easy for me so I'm showing it to you um, I just open the Fonto app I pick the pictures that I want resize them uh, to kind of the sizes that I, I think I want them to be on an already uh, four by six photo template so it prints out perfectly on my Epson um, picture mate 400 um, that I used to print out all these photos on so that's kind of what I'm doing right now I'm going through and picking out different photos of my family um, of things that I'm grateful for and I know I'm not going to be using all of these but I just want it to kind of get different sizes again all fitting on this four by six photo template and then I'm going to just send it to my printer to print out um, I did wait for that watercolor to completely dry that's why the book is closed and then we're going back into it so now that I have the photo printed I'm just going to cut out each photo I started out using scissors and then realized like oh, I'm not getting as straight of lines as I should be able to <laughs> um, but I just grabbed the um, my rotary cutter from Fiskars. It's, this is the one I've used for years. I love the rotary blade versus just a thin like knife blade. It is my favorite way to cut paper, cardstock, pictures, vinyl, you name it. This is by far my personal favorite um, paper craft tool trimmer. Um, so I just wanted to get them all cut out and then I'm going to use my ATG, a lot of adhesive on this. Like I don't typically even use as much on regular scrapbook pages, but because of the format and the way this is getting kind of bent and used and water and everything else that is going on it, I want it to really coat the back of each photo from like edge to edge with my ATG. So that's what you see me doing here. And then I'm kind of placing these photos together and then really going edge to edge with that as well to make sure that it lays out kind of the way that I want it to, which is a great little tip. And then you can see like nothing bled through the reverse side with these watercolors and I didn't have to prep it or do anything like that. So I really like that. You just have to really wait for it to dry or use um, like a heat tool to set it. Now I'm going to use my L1 Make ID label maker and I love this tool for everything scrapbooking, planning, and Bible art journaling. Um, it is not necessarily the most archival safe because it is a um, basically like it prints with heat <laughs> and so if 
that being said, the words, the things can end up being distorted over time because it's done on this tape with heat. But I am doing something a little different and I'm taking everybody's names. I'm taking the, the names of everybody in my family and on this tape, I'm turning it sideways. And so the names are going up and down like a list versus a cross like on tape. But I want it to be able to kind of do that going down on this page and then still have kind of a small list of things that went across. So things that say like um, gifts that I'm thankful for is like God's promises in his word, um, the gift of salvation, his love and grace, all of those things. So I'm just kind of doing that and resizing it onto the size tape that I have. And this is a gold shimmer tape that I think is absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorites. I have a lot of different colors and patterns that um, Make ID makes to go in these little printers, but the gold is by far my favorite. So I pull this thing out a lot when I'm doing any type of um, planning in my Erin Condren planner or Bible art journaling. Um, and I'm not overly concerned with the fact that it is a thermal heat printer. Um, but that's just my personal preference. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm grabbing some of those sticker books that, um, we used on day one as well. Um, these again are from Hobby Lobby that I got in a clearance section, but I have found kind of similar type styles and feels on Amazon. And I did link those in the, um, resources section at um, she makes club or she makes dot club slash 100 days and I'm just adding different stickers uh, to this layout as well I decided to attempt <laughs> using my own handwriting um, I am not a brush artist and I was going back and forth do I want to use paint or do I want to use like a brush marker and I decided just to use a brush marker again I am not a hand lettering um, artist I don't um, I think often like I'm gonna take the time I'm gonna practice it I'm gonna work on it and then I never quite put that energy or effort into it but there's still something about using your own handwriting to connect to your art to your scrapbooking to your pages that really do matter so even though it's not the prettiest most gorgeous wow hand lettering it is my handwriting and I want to encourage you to be able to do that as well because that is something that um, is still precious and unique to you. And so I hope that you enjoyed this day two of our 100 days of grace and gratitude. We do have a special still going uh, for the next 100 days inside She Makes Club to join for a penny a day for your first 100 days um, as sort of a fun gift to wrap up this uh, 2023 year going into the beginning of 2024. So I hope you'll come join us, um, see every day. And then also, I just wanted to mention to you, if you've enjoyed watching these videos and you want to just listen to the meditative music and just watch the art, I'm going to link that below as well. I have that on my Connecting to Restore channel, which is more about just the Bible art and meditations. I hope you enjoy the moments and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.